Yo, what's going on, man? It's your boy, Real Eric Alvarez here. In this video, man, I got a lot of shit to say, all right? So, I got my computer here because I'm gonna read for you word for word a text that one of my boys just sent me, a close friend of mine, and one of my advice on this with this girl, right? So, I'm gonna read it to you. I'll put a screenshot, a screenshot on the screen so you can see it as well. But so, from what I can see, he says, I, he goes, I have a game Saturday afternoon, but I should be free by seven. We can grab drinks then send, right? She goes, can't let you know for sure tomorrow, question mark. But yeah, we can probably hang. I'm going out with some friends so we can all hang if you want. I'll let you know tomorrow. Red flag. He goes, for sure. Your friends are cool, but I'd rather get to know you one on one. So before or after you go out with your friends would be better. I stop it there. I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna say what I gotta say, and then I'm gonna send. I'm gonna tell you the last message that she sent was gonna bring you all together and prove my point. So he goes, um, graduates by seven. Free, be free by seven. Graduates in. perfect. All right, we're setting a date. You always want to get an exact time. You, you must be leading the interaction. Women want to be led. All right, you must lead. Always be leading. And not just with women, but also with sales. All right, if you're doing sales, you're close to someone in the DMs. Lead. She goes, can let you know for sure tomorrow. Red flag right there, boom. She says that, not because she's so busy or she doesn't know you yet, she ha does not have high enough interest in you. She does not find you attractive enough. So for context, he told me that he met this girl out at a club and she was probably like around blackout drunk, he said. She was pretty drunk, right? And But he got her number. So he tried to defend her like, oh yeah, maybe she doesn't really know who I am. So in her defense, you know, it's okay. Nah, fuck that. If you were her perfect 10, all good, looks fucking matter. Looks are so fucking important. Anybody who says they're not important is lying to your face. Looks are matter. They're not everything, but they're very, very important. So, if you were her perfect 10, we all have a type, right? My type, bro, like, I like fucking Latinas, kind of like my skin color, maybe even a little bit darker with like silky straight black hair with like nice thick lips. Like that shit, that, like, I see a girl like that in the street, I'm like, woo. That shit's sexy. That's my type right there, alright? That's the shit I like. So, if I see a girl like that, when you see a girl that's your type, right? You got your type, right? When you see that girl, do you say, oh, I don't know you enough yet, so I don't think we can hang out? Same, bro, these girls are not that different. They are visual creatures too. Anyone who says they're not is lying. It's not true. They are emotional, but they're also highly visual. So, looks are very important. I even, I even talked about this with a girl. The girl I was in my interviews. I don't know if we got it in the interview. We might have. I don't remember. But after we did our thing, you know, we're laying in bed, we're talking, and we're like, we're talking more about the stuff in, in depth, right? And she's like, "Yeah, looks are very important for, for girls too." And I'm like, "Yeah, I know. Obviously, that's why I, why, why I think I work out to care of myself so much. One for me, but also because I like to look good for the ladies. It's important for me. All right, it's one thing that I enjoy. It's one thing that you enjoy too. If you're watching this video, we're on the same team here, bro. Nothing wrong with trying to be your best self to look good for girls as well. Do it for yourself, number one, but also, part of motivation is that you want to get better quality girls. It's, it's important, all right? For me, it's, it's important at least, all right? So, let's continue forward. If you are her type, it does not fucking matter. She will come see you, all right? Dude, I, I, I have like two to three girls a week at minimum come over off Tinder. They don't even see my social media. I got like 15K followers. I have a pretty cool lifestyle. I have some dope pics. They don't, most of these girls don't even know who I am. They don't know what I do. They don't know shit about me until after the fact that I already closed it down. When I say close it down, no, we already smashed, all right? So they're coming to me based off number one, my looks, and number two, off the way I conduct myself. So here's the red flag. Number one, she's not interested in you. That's number one thing. She's just not that interested in you. That's an excuse she says. And number two, I'll let you know tomorrow. So he goes, for sure, your friends are cool. But I'd rather get to know you one on one so before or after you go out with your friends would be better. Never say that. Never accept that bullshit. I have girls tell me that shit all the time. You know what I say? Nah, you know what? I don't do maybe plans. You let me know when you want to see me. And one of two things happen. One, they say okay and never talk to you again. And number two, they're like, no, 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 no. I could do this time. And guess what? The girls who said, who said okay, I'll let you know and never hit you up again, they were never that interest. They never wanted you in the first place. All they wanted was your attention and your validation. Dude, every girl has like 10 to 20 to 50 guys hitting up in their phones 
who they string around just for attention and validation to feel good about themselves. You have to understand that. This, she, she, because she's texting you or talking to you does not mean she even likes you or is even remotely interested in even talking to you. These girls will entertain conversations to boost their own ego and to feel good about themselves. Nothing wrong with that. When you become a high, a high value man and you become attractive, you may do it every now and then, probably, probably not, but every now and then, you know, for girls like, like, oh, like I put a video up today, right? Of me working out in the gym and I have my shirt off, I'm doing pull-ups so you see my back. I, I have girls hitting me up like heart eyes and like, oh, head most lean, like, like attractive, cute, sexy, all this shit. Who, and some of these girls like I'm like I'm not really interested in you or like we already did our thing and I'm kind of like over it now, so they hit me up and I'm like thanks or, 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 like gracias or I send like a little like hand emoji like this or like if they're like if if like I'm really trying to like alright whatever I send like a little kiss face but like not with like the little kiss the, not the little heart coming out just like like that that kind of look just to fucking give them some some feel good about themselves alright just like to, like keep them around sometimes because sometimes it feels good let's be real it feels good to have validation. Our reality is created through validation. You would not, anything that you believe in this world today, you would not believe it if it was not validated at some point in your lives. So every now and then, I mean, you're not gonna be a dick like fuck you because she said some nice shit to you or you're not gonna be like, hey, just leave her on right or ignore her. You're gonna give a little something back. Cool, appreciate that, thank you. A lot of these girls don't do that anyway. So I'm like, you know what, I appreciate that. Thank you for boosting my ego, nothing wrong with that. So don't be caught up in that, don't get attached to that because at the end of the day, that means nothing. Girls will say oh, shit to you, oh, you're so pretty, you're so cute, so handsome. Doesn't mean shit. Listen to what they do, not what they say. I don't give a fuck what you tell me. Oh, I love you, you're the best. Oh, you're an asshole, fuck you. I don't care, either way. Because you don't mean it. You know what tells me what you mean? The way you respond, your actions. Are you coming to hang out with me? No? All right, cool, you're not into me then. Don't tell me that, oh, I, I want to see you, but I have plans. No, you're just not into me. So you know what? I don't say, oh, no, you're not into me. I just, okay, cool. Let me know if you want to see me, move on. That simple. So, in this scenario, where she's like, oh, Kyle, let you know tomorrow, you need to push your fucking foot down and say, nah. That, that's, that could be considered a test. It's a test subconsciously, but like, she's just really not that interested in you. It depends on the scenario. Sometimes a girl is interested in you, but she would say that anyways, just to kind of see how you, rea you react. Unconsciously, she's not aware of it. Realize that. Don't get mad at a duck for quacking. She's not aware of that. Or, she might just say that because like, yeah, I'm gonna keep this guy around and kind of string him off and then I will cancel last second and then have him hit me up later so I feel good about myself. And maybe I'm saying down the line, maybe not. I mean, it can work for me. It's kind of a beta in my in my eyes. I'm not really that interested because she doesn't see you as the alpha male, all right? Alpha male, she's like, yo, I wanna fuck this guy. This guy is sexy. He turns me on. I wanna see him. She's not gonna wait for that, all right? And some girls need to kind of throw that test out to figure out, are you that alpha or not? So that's why they might say that even if they are down. And then you're like, nah, I don't do maybe plans. If you wanna see me, you can just let me know. Let me know when you want to see me. That, you know what that shows? You, what that tells us constantly? Number one, you're indifferent. You're not the, one of these guys who are like coming to you like, oh, can we hang out? You're so pretty, oh. You're one of these guys like, all right, if you want to see me, you can let me know. Your position of power, you're indifferent. You're like, all right, you can, I, don't, I don't care. You know what else that tells her? I have other options. You're not that special. You're not on a pedestal for me. I have better options than you. So if you want to see me, cool, but if not, that's cool too. I don't really care either way. I'm gonna live my life as a high value man. I'm gonna live in my purpose to be on my grind and I got other girls who want me, so you can either join it or not, whatever, I don't care. It doesn't matter, all right, it's that simple. So either one, like I said, she's gonna come to you and you're gonna have power or she's just gonna walk away and that's fine. You, you save yourself a lot of hassle and time wasted and energy and money spent because you don't wanna spend time with girls who aren't that interested in you anyways. You're gonna go on three, four dates and you're never gonna fuck her or get her back or it's gonna go nowhere because she was never into you. She was using you for attention, validation, and for free dates. Right, cause, cause some of these girls have nothing better to do. It's, it's, the, it's honest, all right? It's the way it is. And I'm not knocking girls. I, I, I love and I respect women, but I also understand how they operate. And I'm not gonna be a part of the bullshit. I got shit to do, so you can come join my life or not. If not, cool, I have shit going on anyways. I don't. It doesn't matter. And if you join it, I don't. That's cool too. I'm not, I don't get attached to that, right? It doesn't matter. That's the, that's the mentality you want to have. So, next thing is, I'll let you know tomorrow. And uh, we we covered that. We covered that. You put your foot down. You say no. I don't do maybe plans. We're either seeing each other. We're either seeing each other. Yes or no. Yes or no. You give your ultimate name. Yes or no. She says no. All right, cool. You can leave it at that. Or you know what? You seem busy. Just let me know when you want to see me. Leave it at that. All right. So next thing is. 
I'm ha I hang I'm gonna I'm going out with friends you can all hang if you want dude no I am not gonna hang out with you and your friends all right it's like it's like it's like it's like, it's like, it's like no it's okay let me know if, when you're alone you, you want to see me I'm not gonna go there hang out with your friend and like 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 I'm not gonna put up in that situation it's like you either want me or you don't if you want me you're not gonna want to hang out with me and all your friends like that's just a distraction you can't use that that's like using you for the attention almost all right so i'm never if a girl ever says that oh it's okay if i, I come i bring a friend i'm like i'm like no like it's gonna be you and me if not cool just let me know if you want to see me if not we don't need to see each other it's fine either way is cool and you're not saying like a dick you're saying you're very indifferent it's like it's like no it's okay um you know if we're gonna hang out i want it to be me and you if not no problem and leave it at that she might say okay if she says okay that means she don't want to hang out so leave it at that. all right don't even answer move on on to the next one all right abundance 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 there's always another girl who wants you there's a girl who will find you as a 10 and the more you work on yourself the more girls will think that you're a 10 so work on yourself more get more options so now we got that out of the way let's go into what actually happened the next day what did she say big surprise sorry i'm studying but i don't know Honestly, I don't know you to go out like that in a date with you. I'll be down to hang out and get to know you first, but I don't feel like going out just the two of us for 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 no. I don't understand what that what she said for no. She, she said a little off, but she flakes. She's not down. Guess fucking what? You could have saw it coming from a mile away. What did you expect? You should have cut it off the bullshit from day one. From the second she said, oh, I'll let you know, or oh, hang out with my friends. That's just saying I don't even know you. I don't hang out with you. That's what she meant the whole time. She just didn't want to tell you that. Because women will not tell you shit directly. They will tell you indirect. They will tell you something else that implies what they really mean. Because they don't want to put that pressure on, like, fully rejecting a guy. And the guy's like, like, like oh, but blah, 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 whatever. They don't want to deal with all that. So they will just tell you, oh, I'm busy. I can't really hang out today. Uh, I'll, I'll let you know. They will string you along like that. So if you're not aware of how these girls operate, you would take that literally. Because if a guy tells you that, he means that. If a girl tells you that, it means 50 other things. So, do not listen to what she says, listen to what she does. Actions speak louder than words, and that goes for everything, alright? But especially with women. So, next time a girl gives you this kind of answers, cut it off from the jump. Like, nah, you don't want to see me or you don't. If not, cool, move on. So, don't say, oh, you want to see me or you don't. Because I don't want, I know a lot of you guys are going to take this shit too literal, and you're not going to understand what I'm trying to say. So, you should be like, like, look, if we're going to hang out, it's going to be you and me. And are we, do you want to see me tomorrow or not? Leave it at that. The less you say, the better. Stop saying so much shit. Less words, more concise. Get to the point. She's either going to say, oh, I don't know. She's going to be like, and she's like kind of like floaty about it. And I give you a straight answer. Like, you're like, either say yes or no again. Just like, look, yes or no? Question mark. Leave it at that. Or like, you, you know what? You, see, you seem like you're busy. Just hit me up if you want. If you want to see me, you hit me up. Done. That's it. You don't got to say more. And you're never, th you're, not, you're never hitting her up again. You're letting her come to you from now on, and you're going to live your life, and you're going to focus on other girls because that time and energy you're wasting on these girls who aren't that interested, the girls you're trying to raise attraction with, it's never worth it, number one, and you, that's time and energy you can spend into finding a girl and with a girl who is into you. All the girls that I had the best time, I had a girl, I have a girl that we've been, we've been messing around for like seven, eight months. Bro, we smashed within 10 minutes of meeting each other. You're gonna tell me that's because I got it easy. She's like, it's like sleeping around. She's not doing that with every single guy. I know she's not. All right, these girls, cause, just because if you fuck them on a first date, doesn't mean like she's a slut. Like if you if you're that mentality, what does that say about yourself? It's, it's just saying about yourself. Like, oh, I'm not that good. She must be a slut to sleep with me on the first date. To sleep with me so easily because I suck. I'm not anything special. Like bro, girls sleep with me on the first date. I'm like good. I expect that. You're smart. You see the value of what you have in front of you. Good job. Like I'm proud of you. That's a girl I want to fuck with. Because I know she's not doing that to everybody else. Because most guys, they don't have, they're not, they don't have, they're not taking care of this. They're not high value men. So they come to me, and we, bro, like, I'm not here, I'm not trying to brag, but I'm just trying to let you guys know how it is and what's actually possible. Because I was that guy who just could not figure it out with girls, and I was terrible. For years, alright, for a very long time, I was terrible. And this is where I'm at now, so I know if I can do this, and no one cannot do this. Like, no one has a fucking excuse. I don't care how socially awkward you are, how ugly you are. You could work on yourself. I'll show, I'll show pictures of how I looked in high school and shit. I had the worst fucking acne. I used to be just like, had a weird shaped face. My nose is too big for my face. For those of you who don't know, 
I broke my nose. Uh, if you read my story in an interview, I got blackout drunk one night, got cheap shot. I don't even remember it happening. Woke up the next day, my nose was like this place and like turned to the side and like lifted. All fucked up, right? I got a little Jewish nose. I, technically, I, I'm Jewish. My mom's Jewish. I got a little Jewish nose. I can say that, right? So I had a bigger nose. I had a fuck, then I had a broken nose for like four months straight where I couldn't even breathe. And then I had to get surgery where I dealt with like not being able to breathe out my nose for a full month. And then also a year after that, had very bad breathing problems on top of that. Then now it's fine. Now it's all, all pretty and shit. Blessings in disguise. But either way, I had acne. I had a bad haircut. I wasn't that good of shape. I had a big nose. Like I was not attractive. And now I have a lot of girls complimenting me on my looks. I know I look good. I'm not blind. There's nothing wrong with giving yourself credit where credit is due. I worked on myself. It's not, it hasn't come overnight. All right. I focus on my style. How to, what's the best haircut for my face? How to clean my face up more. How to wear accessories. How to find clothes that fit. I work my ass off in the fucking gym so I can have these options. All right. So I want you guys doing the same shit. And you're going to have more girls who are high interest coming into your life. And high interest girls are the best girls. I'm going to tell you this straight up, bro. I'm at a point in my life where I've like experienced so many different kinds of women that your looks aren't that important to me anymore as much as your interest level will be. Obviously, there's a baseline. You're not, you're, I'm not, I'm not gonna hang out with a girl who I don't see at least as like a seven or an eight or a nine or above that. I'm not gonna go below that, but you could be a seven with like a 10 out of 10 interest in me versus a nine with like a three out of 10 interest in me. I will prefer the girl who's a seven who has a 10 out of 10 interest in me than a girl who's a nine who's hotter but not that high of interest in me because number one, the sex is better. Number two, your life is easier. Number three, like you just click better this whole interaction just is more satisfying like i don't want to be fucking a girl where like she's not making any sound she's not really that showing me she's not inter interested in it she's kind of like doing it like fuck that or you hang out with a girl who's like not you can tell her like not that interested like yo i don't i don't need this like i'm not like no i'm, I'm good I, I pass on that i'm, I'm all right maybe some of you guys feel different that's fine we all have our own opinions on that but uh it's just the way I feel about it. You know what I mean? I got plenty of options. I want you to have plenty of options to where you can you can be in an abundance mindset to where it's like, all right, you either fuck with me or you don't. If you don't, cool, that's fine. But if you fuck with me, all right, let's see what happens and dope. But trust me. And most of you guys don't know what a high interest girl is. You don't know what a 10 out of 10 high interest girl is. Like, you just have not experienced it. I have a, I had a fucking girl. I, I, I may or may not show a screenshot of the text because I don't know if I should. Just, I don't know. I, feel, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, I'll see. I'll think about it after the video, but she literally goes, I'm your slave and you're my master. Like, 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 bro, come on. All right, unless you have girls telling shit like that, you don't know what high interest is. And I don't blame you, it's fine. You just gotta work on yourself to get to that level. And then once you see what a real high interest girl is like, you'll never go back. Cause you're like, yo, it's like, it's like, what's a good, what's a, what's a good metaphor for this? It's like if you tasted really, really good carrot cake. I don't know if you guys like carrot cake. I like carrot cake. If you taste a really good, moist, tender, sweet carrot cake versus like a fucking shitty, dry carrot cake, you would never eat a shitty, dry carrot cake versus a sweet, juicy, and like moist carrot cake. Moist carrot cake's the best. All right. It's like if you eat like a really good steak versus like a shitty quality steak. You're not gonna eat a shitty quality steak, take steak again. You're like, yeah, you know, like you're gonna try it, but yeah, yeah. About that. I'm gonna go for the nice shit, or I don't want it. That's how I feel about 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 women. It's like you either have a high interest in me, and that's awesome. We enjoy that together, or you don't. And like, I'm not. I'm good. It's all right. I'd rather be on my own then. All right. I'm not. I'm not. I'm fine. So I want you guys having that mentality. All right. So um, yeah, that's the video. I know it went way way longer than I expected, but there's a lot of very 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 important points in there. I want you to not just hear this i want you to implement this be aware in your life next time a girl tells you some of these like like floaty answers where it's not like yeah i want to see you move on done all right that's it simple and and you will find if you get more options and more girls who you're talking to there will be girls who are like do you want to see me i say it straight up do you want to see me yes or no like if, if i'm talking to her in spanish get his vitamin do you want to see me in english do you want to see me so they're gonna say yes they're gonna say no or they're gonna be like where do you live or what will we do and those from there you just proceed conversation then sometimes they're in sometimes they're not it's fine it doesn't matter uh, but straight to the point all right because the girls are into you will not make your life hard if she has high interest in you she will make your life so easy like you're gonna be like surprised like wow like i did like nothing and she really likes me so that's the video bro take this shit use it 
be aware of it in your life and you're gonna see what I'm talking about. And with that being said, don't forget to like my shit, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and uh, I'm out. Peace. Alright, so there's one last thing that I must, must add because while I was rewatching the video that I just recorded, and I know some guys would not, would take this the wrong way, alright, and I, I cannot have you guys doing this wrong shit. Alright, please, just don't mess this up. So, when I say, like, she's not that into you, if she gives you some, like, flaky plans, this is how you know she's really into you. If she says, I'm not busy, I don't know, but I can do this date. If she does not give you a bounce back date, she is not interested. Move on. Say, all right, go, say the things I told you. All right, cool. Let me know if you want to see me. Never hit her up again. Let her hit you up. If she gives you a bounce back date, it's like, oh, I'm not free this day, but I'm, I'm not free Saturday, but I'm free on Sunday. If you, you can go from there. You can either be like, if you're free at that time, like you don't need to pretend like you're not free that day. Don't act like you're somebody you're not. Uh, if she wants to see you enough, she doesn't care about all that. She would just come see you. That, that plain and simple. It's not that big of a deal, all right? So don't be like, oh, she said Sunday, but I need to say no Sunday and Monday because I don't want her to think I'm more busy than I am. Like, bro, if, if you're free, like, yeah, I can make it work. Like, like, just give her a time. Like, okay, Sunday at seven. So yeah, I'm free Sunday though. All right, see you Sunday at seven. Boom, that's it. Leave it at that. So if she does not give you a bounce back date, I'm not free this date, but I'm free this date. She just says, oh, I don't know yet. Oh, I'm busy. Okay, let me know if you want to see me. Move on, done. All right, so that's it, and use that.